That's the idea, cousin. Sweet and simple. Well, that's easy for you to say, but just how do I go about getting this revenge? By getting Alan to pay for what he's done to you. I could never, ever hurt him as much as he's hurt me. Well, you can give it a try. Go after him where he lives. You mean his, his ego? No, his wallet. If you really want to hurt Alan Quartermain, go after the Quartermain first string. Why, oh, Heather, what good is that going to do me? Come on, Susan. Don't you see what I'm getting at? You've never gotten a dime from any man you've ever been involved with. Now, this time, this time you go out fighting. You go after Alan, make him remember you. Get him for everything he's got. Which one is this? Don't ask, darling, just eat it. No chicken I ever saw had any parts that looked like this. And what's your experience with chickens? I was married to one. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing, it lasts about six weeks. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor. Saved by the bell. Poor thing. Poor thing. Poor <laughs> chicken. Uh, was chicken. You the one across the road? Right? Right? Hi there. Hi. This is a housewarming present, guaranteed to warm up the place. No, I think I already have an electric blanket. Thank no, you. it's not an electric blanket. But if you'll stand over there and let me unwrap it for everybody. You mean I'm not going to get to unwrap my own gift? No, you might get violent. Oh. <laughs> what on earth is it? Well. Ta-da! Oh. Hey. Isn't that wonderful? I couldn't resist it. Neither could the lizard. Right. Oh, that's awful. But I love it. Thank you. Do you realize that we could be standing up on top of a whole lot of oil? Of course we are. The car engine's full of it. Oh, I'm talking a lot deeper and more than that. There must be some explanation. I'm listening. Uh, a spill, maybe. A spill? There's no spill here. A spill from what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a garbage truck. This is not garbage, baby. Come here. Look at this. This is black gold. That is black gold. See it? Smell it? Feel it? Taste it? Luke! This is crude. This didn't come out of no can. This is the straight stuff. This is coming up right out of the ground, and it's all yours. No, I don't believe it. What do you mean you don't believe it? It's right there on your hand. It's oil. Don't ask me what we're going to do about it because we're not going to do nothing about it. We're going to keep our mouths shut. That's what we're going to do. Keep our mouths shut until we're sure. Do ah. nothing? Do absolutely nothing. You know what? You got oil. Say it. I got oil. I got oil. Sure do. You got oil. You got oil. <laughs> Hi, There's nothing wrong with that. Not if you don't have to live in the real world. Well, I've done my time there. Yeah, I bet you have. So have you. We're a lot alike. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm more realistic than you. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. This doesn't exactly look like what I would expect an oil field to look like, but it doesn't hurt to hope, does it? Ah, yeah, but if you don't hope, you're not disappointed. What's wrong with a little disappointment, huh? Now, the practical thing to do here would be to check this out, wouldn't it? How do we do that? Well, I don't know. We can't tell everybody. We'll start some kind of a panic. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? I'm going to tell Robert. He's just my partner. He might be able to help us. Yeah, but then what? Uh, well, we got to determine if there's uh, enough oil. To, we'll get an expert. That's it. Some dude who's really heavy into oil. You know anyone like that? Um, uh, no, a, a geologist. Well, we'll find him tomorrow. It's a little late today. Yeah. Well, let's head back to town and clean up. We've got to find somebody who can tell us if it's worth drilling down here. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit and get back into town. I got a lot of stuff to do. Mm. So where does one find a geologist? I don't know. I'll locate one tomorrow. Robert might know. My partner, he's got a lot of connections. Hey, didn't I tell you I was good luck? Huh? You are a mess. Thank you very much. So are you. You know, you're welcome to stay at the boat tonight. I know. Then you 
Well, let's get back, shall we? Robert, you're really not going to hang that charming piece of artwork up there, are you? Well, we could always hang it in your room. Uh, no, it looks so lovely there, I wouldn't think of moving it. Oh, I like it. I think the Sorry. monster's cute. I think it actually adds an exotic touch to the room. It could be worse, Pippi Love, if you remember any of your other famous classics. <laughs> I have a feeling you're about to remind us all. I think my favorite was The Curse of the Vampire Woman from Mars. <laughs> well, what was really? her curse? The curse was she looked like a spaceship and she had her voice kind of like a uh, rocket launch, you know? <laughs> that wasn't you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no, actually, I was one of the victims. Yeah, along with everybody else that saw that movie. You yeah. told me you saw it five times. Yeah, but that was at a drive-in. And who goes to the drive-in oh. to look at the movie? <laughs> oh, you remember Kiss Me? Kill Me? Yeah, was that a mystery? Oh. The mystery is why I never got made to begin with. <laughs> I think we need to do the dishes. Can I help, Blackie? Yeah, it's getting a little loony tunes in this place. <laughs> no, could I get you something? Maybe some chicken. How's that? Uh, no, I, I ate earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I know just the thing. I'll get you a drink. Uh, yeah, ah. that I'll take. Mm. Honestly, no, I really do love the poster. Oh, I'm glad. Every time I, um, I look at it, I'll think of you. Is it good or bad? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you like this, it fights back. <laughs> <laughs> mm, could I get you something else? Knew you'd like it. Uh, no, everything, uh, everything I want's right here in front of me. Well, you silver tongue charmer. No, I'm not, actually, but you seem to bring it out of me. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet. I think that poster's a stupid gift. Not like your lamp, huh? Well, at least my lamp was useful. I wouldn't count on it. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, sure. Hold on a second. Sure. Laura? Laura, it's Edward Quartermain for you. Hello, Hello, kids. Fun's fun, but I've got to get back to work. Now, wait a minute. Now, look, you just leave that to Tiffany. Me thinks she could be coming into money very soon. Uh, or possibly losing a roommate. Well, maybe. Look, stay a while. I mean, work can wait. I can't. If I don't get back to it, I'm going to be up all night. Oh, no, that sounds promising. Working. Yeah, I think so. Guess where I'm going? New York City. On Edward? Yes, he wants me to go there as a messenger for the ELQ. That's great. Will you close up my apartment? Sure. Hey, hey, great. I'll have someone to talk to on the plane. Oh, terrific. <laughs> well, come on, Blackie. Let's go clean up the kitchen so I can talk. Okay. I'll give you a hand, Dimple. Robert, I really can't. Why not? Because I've got to get back to work. I promised Ian that I would get it. Huh. Here we go again. I don't believe it. Believe what? You're jealous. Me? Jealous of him? No. <laughs> you. <laughs> so, Alan claims he'll look after you, huh? He promised he would. So what do you think that means? I don't know, maybe 50000 And, of course, the cottage. 50 grand and a lousy doll's house. Oh, you might as well have been jilted by a ditch digger. Hey, I do all right. No, you don't, Susan. You do terribly. Another wealthy guy dumps you. And what do you do? You let him off the hook with barely a slap on the wrist. What else can I do about it? Go for broke. Shoot the moon. Get what you've earned and more. How? Well, I'll talk to Joe. Get a little free, friendly legal advice. We'll find out how to proceed and we'll nail him. We'll nail him good. I don't know, Heather. Come on, Susan. What do you want to do? Be a punching bag the rest of your life? Step right up, gentlemen. Take your shot at poor little Susan. Stop it. No, haven't you had enough of this kind of life? I'm fed up with it. Well, then change it. All right. You're right. I will. Of course I'm right. I will. All right, you talk to Joe, okay? You find out what we can do. I'm ready to fight him. Finally. I'll make him pay. I will make him pay for everything he's done to me. Now you're talking. I'll be in touch with you. Okay. Heather. What? Thank you. Is that all you wanted to say? No, actually, I'm I'm wondering why you're doing all this for me. Helping me, you mean? I just hate to see any woman being taken advantage of. I've been in your position, Susan, and I swore it would never happen again. Laura, we'll 
to find out who the experts in this field are and see if we can get one of them to come out and take a look at this property. We'll find out if you are rich or not. I appreciate your help, Luke. I'd be lost without you. Good. Remember that. And don't make me wait anymore. What's that got to do with it's it? It's got a lot to do with it. What if I hadn't shown up? You would have just sat here for a while, then you would have walked off into the sunset sadder, no wiser and possibly a lot poorer. Isn't that true? Here you go. Nice try. What? I've got a place to stay. Oh, where? Around. Around. Where do you go at night? Do you hang upside down from a tree limb or something in the woods? It's my business. Who are you, masked woman? I'm a very private person. And when I choose to tell you where I spend my nights, I will. Just don't push so hard. Make things a lot simpler if you just stayed here tonight. Where? Here, in the room with me. Don't you have a, a guest stateroom or something? Of course we do, but it's, uh, it's not nearly as nice as this. And uh, I would not be a gentleman, a scholar, or a good host if I let you sleep in anything less than the best. Always thinking of me, aren't Yes, then you'll stay? Yes. Great, I'll get some champagne. But... What? I, uh, what, uh, this, uh, what is this? What? It... The door has to be locked. With you on the other side? It's just that I'm on a roll, you know? And when I'm writing and it gets hot, it's like magic. Yeah, I know what you mean. Me it's too. It's not exactly the same thing. Boy, have you got a lesson to learn. Let's start now in the bedroom. Uh, let's not think of it as my bedroom. Huh? Well, you sleep in there, don't you? Uh, let's think of it as my office. All right, then I'll give it the office. I am going in there to write by myself. Are you trying to tell me I've been beaten out by a piece of greasy machinery? Don't take it personally. Think of it this way. If you could type, we'd be in business. All right, then I'll learn. Back to the star. Okay. Uh, how about tomorrow? Sure. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stand that. You know, it reminds me of somebody. Anybody I know? Yeah, that editor guy. What's his my face? Boss, you know? My boss. My boss. Good night. Look, I can type fast. I'm good. I'm really I bet good. You can. Goodbye. Watch yourself. I do love romance. <laughs> Tiff is positively glowing. After all, this could turn into something serious. You know, he's absurdly handsome, intelligent, and loaded. What more could any girl want? Oh! Hey, listen, kids. Why don't we go out for some hot fudge sundaes? It's on me. Well, I really should pack, but um, I do love hot fudge sundaes. Yeah, I'd like to dump a sundae on that guy's head. It might cool him down a little okay, bit. Okay, come on, kiddies. We better hurry before it closes. system. Actually, oh. all the apartments have it. Wow. It's very nice, isn't it? When are we going to have our date? Just you and me. How about Thursday night? I don't think I can wait that long. Oh. All right. Where? Would you like to come here? Grand Central Station? Oh. Yeah, I think that's a terrific idea. <laughs> well, I'll see if I can't reserve it for just the two of us. Sounds like a plan. I'll cook dinner if you like. <laughs> Thank goodness you said that. If you left it to me, I'm afraid we'd have TV dinners. I know a way to make TV dinners lots of fun. You're making me positively giddy. You should see me when I'm aroused. Well, I can hardly wait. And if you promise uh, Thursday's on, I'll try to control myself. Until then. I'll be there. But right now, this doctor has to get some sleep because I have back-to-back -back surgery. Well, I hope I'm not interrupting anything too important. No, no, I'm just doing some research. What are you up to? I was just visiting Susan. She's really off the wall today. You're upset about Alan, huh? Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. She's really out to get him. I was shocked. She said she's going to take him for everything he's got. She's considering... 
organizing some kind of lawsuit against them. I told her she was dreaming. No, not necessarily. Really? Oh, yeah. She could cripple him if she wanted to. Well, you're beginning to sound just like Susan. I mean, how could she touch a guy like Alan Quartermain? Oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, you've got to remember those palimony suits that got all that publicity a couple of years ago. Sure. Well, great deals of money were made on those palimony suits. Now, Susan didn't live with Alan long enough to sue him for palimony, but she could come up with a charge. Well, that's interesting. Why? You planning to do it yourself? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Besides, I never intend to lose the man I've got. But what would you call a case like that? I mean, in legal terms. Fraud. That's what being jilted at the altar is? That could be a way to go. Huh. Well, most must be what she's thinking of. All that quarter main money. I just never thought Susan was so devious. Well, I can see you're busy. I'll, I'll go upstairs and talk to you later. information we discussed earlier. If you meet me at the hospital tomorrow morning, I'll show you how to become a very rich woman. Well, let's see, what else? Um, here's the bathroom, towels in there on the rack. You've got uh, a little radio here, also an alarm set up. But if you sure to set about 10, 15 minutes early, it never works, I'm always late. Uh, you got some extra pillows up there. And if you need anything else, I guess pound on the wall. I'm sure Robert will be happy to come in here and give you anything you want. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you're comfortable. I'm sure I will be. Beats hanging out in a tree, doesn't it? Isn't there something you want to take with me? With you? Your, your robe, uh, pajamas? I don't sleep in pajamas, remember? Look, there's something you have to understand about me. I know, you're a very private person. I just hate being crowded. If I'm pushed into a corner, I, I strike out. It's my instinct. I have a few instincts of my own. We had that night on the mountain. It's not forgotten. Not by me. Nor me. But right now, this is the way things have to be between us. I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. Why? Because I don't want to be hurt. Look, I told you I wouldn't hurt you. Hurt you? Right. I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for understanding. Hi there, stranger. Where you been? Texas, I think. What? Talking about a gusher, Robert. Gusher coming in, oil all over the place. That's just swimming in it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about dreams coming true. I'm talking about streets paved with gold. I'm talking about a chicken in every souffle, a car or two cars in every parallel parking spot. I'm talking about whatever you want. Okay, okay. Humor me. Start from the beginning. In the morning, I'm going to bed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I always thought you slept back there. Not tonight. madness around here. Do you know there is not one empty bed in this entire hospital? Well, 9 a.m. and we've already had three emergency surgeries. We've had five births and no decent good night. No, aren't you doing surgery? Uh, yeah, I'm on my way. I have to call two more interns. It's getting pretty oh, busy. Oh, hold on. Good. No, I'll for you. Who is it, Jeff? It's Tiffany Hill. Uh, apologize for me, will you? Tell her I'm gonna run. Okay. Tiffany, I'm awfully sorry, but he has a call for surgery. He's been run ragged all day. They called him in at 4.30 this morning. Oh, dear, you must be dragging. I'll just call back later. 
It's so hectic in that hospital over there. Poor Noah. Baby. How did you eat Good. me with him, Jernal? Mm -hmm. Oh, I get the picture. <laughs> well, listen, I have to get back to the apartment and pack for my New York City trip. Oh, that's right, darling. Have a wonderful time. And try not to let Dale talk your ears off. <laughs> Give my regards to Fifth Avenue, especially Tiffany. Oh, okay. right, I will. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey, Joe. Morning. Please, I'm sorry I'm late. I had rather a long night. Oh, something wrong at home? Well, it's the same old thing. Scotty upset Gail terribly last night. Seems to be no end to it. Uh, anything I can do? Oh, uh, thank you. No. Mm. Well, today is Gail's last meeting with Heather before she makes a report to the judge. <laughs> yeah, I have never seen Heather looking more positive towards going to see a doctor. I think she has pulled herself together this time. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning. If Susan comes in, will you have me page? I'll be working at my desk, and later I have a session with Gail. Uh, yes, I will, if we get to admission in a hurry, because we're swamped. Out of way. planned, Father. Spencer nearly fainted when he stepped in all that oil. <laughs> and you let him on? You would have been proud of me. I played the skeptic, and he bought it. <laughs> well, I don't think any man would doubt you. Not even you? Well, me, least of all. I don't think I'll come back to the penthouse anymore. I shall miss these breakfasts, though. If we pull off this affair, my darling daughter, you'll have all the luxurious breakfast you can possibly have. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> so, I, I won't be coming back here, and I'll be staying in Port Charles as soon as I can find a place. Good. Happy hunting. Uh, make certain you stay near the boat. We don't want to let Mr. Spencer out of our sight for a moment. Okay. Explanation time. What's this Texas business? Texas. Oil. Crude oil bubbling up under, uh, out of the ground, just like in Texas or Alaska or Arabia. And you'll never have a guess where it is. Port Charles City Dump. You're right. You never would have guessed. You're going to add up what's left of your mind. Okay, wise guy. Smell this. What? Smell it. Now, look, look. Robert, just smell the boot. <sighs> All right. That this cop. Of course it is. It's oil, pal. This is crude oil. It's coming up right out of the ground. Over there on Holly's land. No doubt about it. And that bird has flown again. I expect I'll be coming soon to Port Charles myself. I'll let you know as soon as the time is right. You better be going. Oh. Hello. Yes. Yes, Basil. Yes. Very well. Fine. We'll be expecting you. Cousin Basil. He'll be coming in from Europe in a few days. Thrilling. We don't have much choice, my dear. Yes, I know, but we don't need him. We can work this one by ourselves. You're doing very well, Holly. But this is only your second time being in on one of our little family outings. We do depend on our relations for certain favors from time to time. Call it a necessary evil. Cousin Basil is not my favorite relative. But you don't have to like him, Holly. You simply have to do whatever he says. Pertaining to the operation. Of course. What else? Take care, Daddy. Yes, Franklin. Uh, please have the car sent around to the front immediately. Holly is catching a plane for Port Charles. Mm -hmm. 